the Kashmiri Pandits, they were all given greetings by the Muslim brethren in Kashmir Valley. Muslims have cleaned up and organized puja, a temple, 1,000 specially designed Herat greetings cards have been produced on Sivaratri. We decided to clean up the premise of, uh, premises of the temple for the pundits. We want them to perform puja with all reverence, without sense of insecurity, said Rashid Dar. The, let us celebrate next Herat, that is the term used by Kashmiri pundits for Sivaratri. In the valley. This is the news in the national newspapers. And a former Home Minister says Kashmir is nearly last, and 7 million people of Kashmir are feeling alienated. Second one is that the militant hotbed Kashmir is strong, matriad soldiers' funeral. Same. Kashmir, where he is saying it's totally alienated, thousands of people come together to pay last respect to an Indian soldier, the great patriot, Lance Naik Mohuddin Rather, for laying down his life, for protecting the unity and integrity of the country. And what this Congress leader, former Home Minister, is saying, that Kashmiri people are feeling alienated and Kashmir is nearly lost. So it is responsible, immature, anti-national statement. I would like to know what is the reaction of the Congress party. Is this the official version of the Congress party? Do they agree with him? And Mr. Chidambaram is famously known earlier for changing the affidavit filed before the highest court, changing the earlier affidavit with regard to the encounter of Isra Jahan, a Lashkari Toiba militant uh, accomplice. The officers have prepared an affidavit. They have gone on record. Subsequently, it was changed at the highest level. Highest level can be only Home Minister and Prime Minister. Chidambaram was the Home Minister and Manmohan Singh was the Prime Minister. Who altered that? That's number one. Number two, now he also says that the Army Chief's statement, Sri Bipin Rawat's statement, is the last straw with regard to using the brute force in Kashmir. So, I would like to know where does the Congress sympathies lies? They lie with India or, or they lie elsewhere? Their sympathies lies with the forces which are fighting for the sake of the country or they lie with the separatists? What is it they are talking? What is the problem in Army General's statement? 